it's Stephanie with a bit of an announcement. So I co-host a podcast called Books in the Freezer, which you might know. Um, but we talk about horror books. I host this podcast with Rachel over at The Shades of Orange, and the episodes are topic-based, so things like haunted houses or possession stories. And sometimes we have a cool guest, and we'll each recommend, you know, two or three books on this topic. So our podcast is turning a year old in October, and I am so excited. So to celebrate, we're going to do a two-week readathon at the beginning of October. So from October 1st to October 14th, just number one, to celebrate our birthday, but number two, to get people in the mood for spooky reading. I think this readathon is a little more doable because one, it's over a two week period and there's only five challenges and you can mix the challenges. So if you have a book that fits like two or three, you can combine it. I mean, I don't care. I just want you to participate. So the challenges are number one, read a book by a female horror author. On one of our episodes, we interviewed author Christy Demeester and we asked her about other female horror authors and she recommended some great authors. So I definitely suggest that as a resource. I will leave the link to that episode down below. The second one is to read an anthology or a short story collection. So I mean, you could combine the first two and read Christy Demeester's short story collection if you wanted, but we have recommended a lot of short stories and anthologies on the podcast. And number three is to read a horror book written by a person of color or a queer person, or that has a main character who is a person of color or a queer person. And one of the episodes I'm going to suggest is our episode on queer horror that we did with Chelsea over at the Reading Out law. Also, I think she herself is just a great resource if you're interested in anything like that. Four is read a horror book that has a movie adaptation. A lot of horror has been adapted for film, so I don't think that one should be too difficult. And five is to read a book we have recommended on the podcast. That's it. Five challenges for two weeks. I will leave all the information for this down below. Let me know if you are going to participate and help Books in the Freezer celebrate their birthday. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you've been listening to the podcast. Um, it is just such a labor of love for what I think is a really underloved genre. So thank you so much and hope to see you soon. Bye.